90% of New Mexicans get their drinking water from the ground. It's a supply fed by melting snowpacks from mountains, rivers, and streams. But with rising temperatures and warmer and shorter snow seasons, less of that water is making it into the aquifer. To keep up with plummeting water levels, municipal and private wells are getting drilled deeper and deeper into the earth. This one in Las Cruces, New Mexico is going down 160 feet. For people living in low-income communities along the U.S.-Mexico border known as colonias, that's not a viable option. Many residents depend on shallow wells dug by hand. People here, they know how to do it. So they do it by hand. Resident Maria Covernali says when she finally struck water 25 feet below her home near El Paso, Texas, she and her family couldn't drink the water because it was not safe. They used it to shower and do laundry until they realized it wasn't even good for that. The clothes uh, was like turning yellow. And that's a minor problem compared to health concerns. A University of Texas Health Impact study reported high concentrations of arsenic and nitrates in many colonias' water supplies. They also found higher than normal rates of waterborne diseases among Colonia's residents. Many reported cases of diarrhea, dysentery, and skin lesions. We used to take a shower with that um, water too, but um, the skin was with a lot of rashes. I didn't have, you know, scars from that. That's what uh, a doctor told me. Well, you're going to have that all your life just because of the water. I said, oh my God. Municipal water systems can treat these impurities. Governali says many residents bought land from developers with assurances that it would eventually be piped into nearby water systems. The developers take advantage of the people. After we start living on the land, we see the problems that we face. A lot of people living in colonias have to haul in their water in tanks or buy bottled water. And some scientists are concerned climate change is going to leave more people without access to running water. William Hargrove is director for the Environmental Resource Management at the University of Texas, El Paso. Well, they're very vulnerable in terms of climate change. During very hot and dry times, maybe the water table drops. It could drop below their intake. And they could be without water for a time period during the hottest time of the summer. People living in colonias and living in rural areas, they're also living kind of in the context of also agriculture, irrigated agriculture. Farmers are also pumping water to apply to their crops and um, makes people who have a domestic well uh, vulnerable. Pecans, alfalfa, and cotton are all thirsty crops grown in Chambarino, New Mexico, where Patrick Marquez lives with his family. Marquez says his well runs dry for a couple weeks every year while the farmers are pumping water out of the aquifer. Thank God to my neighbors that, you know, I've been able to run a garden hose to give me water so at least my kids can take a shower and, you know, we can use the facilities. According to the Housing Assistance Council Community Report, the Marquez and Governali families are just some of the 1.5 million people living along the border who depend on vulnerable water supplies. I'm living here in the United States of America, so I'm supposed to have water. A few years ago, Governali decided to take matters into her own hands, starting Familias Triunfadoras, a nonprofit to organize residents and effect change. And she's had some success getting developers to follow through on agreements to pipe water into colonias. She's also secured housing and urban development grants to build water infrastructure. And I say, no more. I have to do something for me, for my kids, and for the community. Marquez says he conserves water where he can, but he says it might be for naught if farmers aren't willing to plant more water-efficient crops. Unlike large-scale farmers, Marquez says he can't afford to keep digging deeper wells. It is falling on the average person because, you know, we're the ones that are going to suffer. More people need to be aware of the water situation. You know, they need to conserve. I'd have to think of the welfare of my children. A NASA climate study projects southwest water will only be diminished further with an even harsher drought projected in the next 30 years. Reporting from Las Cruces, New Mexico, I'm Daniel Salinas.